What's up guys, welcome to the video today. Um, I'm gonna show you how to set up Figma for um, looking at designs professionally so that you can actually look at a design and see the CSS that goes into it so that you can make your designs um, or make your code look like the design that either a professional designer has given you or when we do like front end mentor challenges or maybe you're a designer yourself and you're also a developer and maybe you just you're not sure how to like view the uh, actual CSS aspect of what you just designed because a lot of design softwares like they'll let you click on elements and then you can see the CSS so you know how to how like how tall to make something and what colors go into the to the design stuff like that it just saves you a lot of time. So um, I'm, I'm here at figma.com so for a, a long time figma was like completely free. And you could do all this right out of the box, but um, it's recently gotten um, up a little paywall. So I'm just going to click on pricing here. And you can see that um, for most people, you're going to just want, if you're a single developer, or if you're just learning or whatever, you're just going to want to go with professional, just the $15 a month. Um, I think it's 15 a month, we'll see. But um, it'll give you unlimited Figma file access, team libraries, which probably you don't care about advanced prototyping, um, you know, all that stuff. And again, the big thing that this is going to do for us is it's going to let us actually look at uh, design files in what they call dev mode so that you can view, uh, it says right here actually, dev mode, view animations, advanced code generation. So it'll show you basically the CSS. And that's what you want to do. If you're doing like, if you're watching my channel for the front end mentor challenges and you want to get set up with Figma, you see me using it in some videos. This is how you're going to want to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here. All right, so I'm logged in here. I don't have my premium account going, so whatever. If you don't have an account, obviously, you'll click create an account. You'll put your email in, or you can just continue with Google and enter in your information. Um, from there, it's going to bring you to a dashboard. So these are all the past designs that I've done. Uh, most of these are from like our front end mentor challenges. You'll recognize them if you've been watching my videos. Um, and I'll just click into one here. And then we'll look at it here. So right away, it's saying upgrade to professional. So that's new. Um, so for a lot, for like a couple months, guys, I didn't realize that this was even a thing. So if you watch some of my tutorials, I like I log into Figma. And <laughs> I can't see the CSS. I'm like, guys, I don't know why this isn't working. I'll just guess the height on stuff. But this is what it is. Now it's professional. You want to be able to work in dev mode, which, again, unfortunately isn't free anymore. But whatever. It's still, I think it's still cheaper than like Photoshop and all the other ones. So I'm just going to click upgrade to professional. And let's see, $12 a seat. So you can either go annual or monthly, I'm just gonna go monthly, so $15. And then I'll put in all my card information. All right, so I entered in my card information, I'm just gonna go to complete purchase, so whatever, it's like $16 a month, big deal, right? It's not that bad. And then we can get in here, and it'll just welcome you to the professional, and then It'll give you a team, so like this is just my team for now. It, it'll force you to create one if you don't have one already. So you'll just click on a tab up here, hit create new, and just name a team. Because it wants you to create a team for like all of your projects that you're using for um, your professional account. It wants, it wants it to be like in this folder for you to be able to access dev mode basically. So let's just take this and let's see if we can open it here. Let's just see what happens. So here we go. Um, I did this project on another video. I'll link it in the, in the description if you want to build this design with me. But let's just click on this. And now you can see since I paid, um, I now have dev mode up here. Okay. So. Oh, right here. So, guys, and over here is where you can toggle the dev mode on and off. So, you see how I click into this background right here on the design? And we can even make the design to zoom in a little bit so it's bigger. I can be like, hey, what's this background yellow color? Just click on it. 
And then look, it'll even give you like code over here, like display flex. I mean, that's not all. You don't really want to pay attention to that because you should know how to do all this with CSS anyway. But if you just want to get the color, it'll give you like the hex code color here. You'll click on this element. Like you, you might want to be like, how big is this font? What kind of heading is it? What font family is it? And so I clicked on it and it gave everything to us over here. Fig tree, um, font, 24 pixels, 800 weight, all that good stuff. Okay. And then it gives you that it's, it's black. And then it even has the hex code here, which if you've watched any of my videos, you know, I like to use the hex codes. I don't like to use variables and all that other stuff. HSL colors. We like to just use good old fashioned hex codes when we're building little small projects. So same thing. If we click on this paragraph here, it'll give you the font size. It gives you everything you need to make the design look like it should look. Okay. So let's just click on this whole element here and you can see the width this this card. We'll call it like a card It's 384 picks. It's got 24 pixels of padding all around it. And, um, that's really helpful. Again, that'll make you, it'll make your design, your code, uh, your coded finished project look a lot more like the design. Cause you can see all that. So, um, you'll see here, if I toggle it off this little dev mode thing, um, you won't see nothing like this is all you'll get. You'll click on elements and it's just going to give you, it'll be like, it's black, white, yellow, and gray, but it's not going to give you details like it should, or like it used to, unless you pay. Okay. So again, we'll toggle it on. Um, so maybe you're at this video cause you're wondering why Figma isn't working, but that's why you got to pay for it now guys. But that's how you set up the account. That's how you get dev mode. So if you're, again, if you're going to do challenges with me, with me on front end mentor, or if you're freelancing and your designers are using Figma and you can't see the code like you used to, or like you want to, that's why you got to set it up in dev mode. So or you have to pay your $16 a month for dev mode, or you can pay yearly or whatever. And then you'll be able to see everything and get your designs you know, how you want them to be. Um, we're on the web app here. I just wanted to point out that there's also a, a desktop Figma app that I usually use it out of the desktop, not the web. But I think, uh, I think when you pay for it, you have to, uh, yeah, and I have to update it anyway. So I'll install it now. But I think you, I'm pretty sure it makes you go to the website to upgrade and pay for everything. You can't just do it on the desktop part of it. So Either way, either way you want to use the app, uh, desktop or browser, doesn't matter. But yeah, guys, that's how you set up Figma so that you can actually uh, view your designs. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.